Ennen kuin Heikki päästettiin kesälaitumille, miehelle napsahti vielä yksi, varmasti mieluinen nakki. Heikki pistettiin haastattelemaan audiosleiviä, joka heitti viime viikolla keikan Helsingissä. Yes, I've written, uh, written all the material on the album together. What's what's it like? Um, it's it's pretty simple, you know. It's like whatever ideas somebody has that day, we just we just start to approach it, play it, feel it out, feel where it might go, um, and we don't leave the room until we've made a song out of that. If we once we start working on something, we don't throw it out after an hour if if it's not gelling. We just keep working on it until it's a song. Rick Rubin has uh, produced a bunch of songs on this album. Mm -hmm. uh, he also produced the latest Shakira album. Uh -huh. On which album did you th do you think he did a better job? Probably Shakira, because we didn't really need much help. <laughs> but Shakira brings that booty to the table. That's true. Yeah. And it's, right. you know, it's hard to and go it's wrong. A good booty. Oh, no <laughs> doubt. If, um, yeah, if you're Rick Rubin, I feel like you're probably going to be on some level more enthusiastic about that record than you are about Audio Slave. He might have been <laughs> sitting on her booty instead of on the couch. That's true. He could have been true. kicked right up on her butt just sitting there as she's uh. playing guitar. <laughs> Your first single, Be Yourself, is a very honest and simple song. Uh, and, and I heard that uh, you said that uh, you, you would have been ashamed to release such a song 10 years ago. For sure. I mean, not ashamed is necessarily just self-conscious. Um, I mean, my, my career as a lyricist has definitely come from being very self-conscious and, and writing things that really mean pretty much nothing to me and just sort of avoiding writing something that that I think would be embarrassing to, um, I think Bad Motor Finger was the record I did with Soundgarden where I really had a breakthrough lyrically, I feel. At some point, I started to hate rock lyrics. I mean, I do to, to this day. Like, you know, every year that goes by, I hate it more and more. All of the stupid, aggressive references Unless you're some Nordic death metal band that killed your rival bandmate and ate his brain, I think that guy should, you know, he's got carte blanche to write the craziest, most psycho death metal lyrics he wants. But if you're, you know, if you're some like Orange County skateboard kid writing about women, you know, and the horrible nature of man, shut up. You know, it's just, I don't want to fucking hear it from that guy. Um, it, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm an Orange County skateboard guy. Yeah, but you're not a death metal band writing songs about doom and gloom. But I did, but yes. have, I did have long black hair as yeah. a high schooler coming up. Yeah, I'm not in a band with that guy. Like yeah, back yeah. then, you know, shut you up. Wouldn't, you maybe wouldn't shut have been up. in a band with that guy. Yeah, I can no. hear you. Right, that makes sense. Have you used any trust consults or uh, therapists like Metallica did, you know, for to keep the band, uh, to have a, keep the chemistry? We did. You did? We, we used uh, a guy very similar to the guy that Metallica Actually, used. Huh? Very similar. Yeah, he looked exactly like him and he sounded exactly like him. Had and similar wore the clothing. same sweater. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. But uh, we started from square one and said, we should, we should hook up with a therapist and we should right talk about right at the beginning, right at the beginning uh -huh. and we should talk about how we want this band to proceed, you know, and how we want to do it right instead of getting into the bad habits that we've all come from in the past. That's really smart, you know. I think every married couple should do that, you know, before Absolutely. they start their relationship. Yeah, go to a therapist. Bring your therapist to the bar with you, <laughs> so when you meet a girl, you can yeah. start the sessions <laughs> right away. And if your therapist is hot, that helps. Yeah. yeah. I recently uh, heard a funny story about you touring with the Guns N' Roses in 92. Uh -huh. Can you tell our viewers about that? I don't know. Which, which one did you hear? All I know is Chris talking about the sheep dryer I thought was classic. The sheep what? Yeah, he had a sheep dryer. Sheep He would dryer. dry his hair with it. Yeah, it's, it looked like, like, like a, a super dryer. Like a cylindrical old vacuum cleaner, only it blew air out instead of sucking air in. Between songs. Axl Rose? Yeah. yeah, so in between songs they would dry his hair with it. Stay in Finland after the concert, or are you going to? Well, Timmy is buying a house here, so we've been. Yeah. He's looking at the real estate stuff. I have. Well, do you, if you have any um, uh, tips on what what a good place sure. to look, where a good sure. place to look? I'm yeah. thinking an island. 
digging an island. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's a lot of islands here. Yeah, there are. Are you skeptical yeah. about an island? No, 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 no. Is there anything bad about island living? No, or? no, no. That's, uh, that's the best place to live in Finland.